Y'all, y'all got what's good, man. Y'all back with your boy Hot Shot Mac, man. Listen, I owe you guys a video, man. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my Hot Shot trucking setup. It is a CDL setup. And like I said, my setup, not the ultimate Hot Shot trucking setup, but this is my ultimate Hot Shot trucking setup right now. So I wanna take you guys through the truck from the front to the back and the trailer. Also update you guys on the replacement trailer that i did get you know i didn't do a video on that so we'll talk about that in this video as well welcome back and we're gonna go over this entire setup from top to bottom y'all stay tuned all right y'all so first things first you guys might have seen the video i did on my truck in the past when i had the gray 40 foot trailer i have a ram 5500 cummins diesel with the ison six speed transmission it is a cab chassis truck and it has the 84 inch chassis versus the 60 inch so what that means is i have a longer wheelbase and a longer frame rather than the standard frame that you know most of these trucks come with so it gives me some options on what i want to do with the bed before we get to that let's get inside the truck i got a few things going on inside the truck you guys can see here i'll start from the top i do have a front and rear facing camera these things everything i talk about guys you will be able to find in our amazon store even including the unipass which i use in covers about 18 to 20 states for your toll i've got that rexing camera we got the unipass phone mount ipad mount i do have a cobra cb radio that we do use to get us out of situations if we are hauling oversized freight that might need escorts or a pilot we do have a cb radio in here as well got me a little cushion i've had this for years man this helps me with my lower back i got me a little steering knob here as y'all can see we do have about 107 miles 107 miles i got about 107 000 miles on the truck as of today the last video i did similar to this we did have about 50 000 miles on the truck typical stuff we got here we got a first aid kit no tent on the front windows you know i might need to get some ceramic tent because it's so hot but you know the way we operate we do not put tent on you know the front just to avoid any problems with dot that's the front of the truck and the back of the truck you know this is where i have my bed this is the bed this is the same frame same mattress that came from the ram 2500 non-cdl setup that i had as y'all can see i got my boots here I got my safety regulations book, measuring tape, couple gloves. We got some fuses down here, some more gloves. And under at the bottom is where I keep all my bins for my clothing that I take with me on the road. I probably have too much clothes is what I've heard, but hey, never can have too much, right? I keep my window shades under here as well. We just slide them in, slide them out. I do have a fan that I take with me, you know, for those nights that we need some extra breeze. This is not usually with me, y'all. We got a cooler here, a chair, and a table. We do have a class this weekend up here in Dallas, so that's what that is for. That is um, that is this side, you know, inside the truck. Let's take it to the other side, y'all. Oh, can't forget the ELD. I got my ELD, which is the electronic logging device, is what I have mounted on top of the dash right here. One more thing. So we have the shirt call here, and I need to talk about that to you guys. It's That's the cell phone signal booster that I've added. That's what we also have on top right there of the truck. I do need to do a video and update you guys on that, see how it's been. Yeah, man, this is the Ram 5500. As y'all can see, it's got the chrome. Uh, this is a tradesman, so it's got the most basic look set up. Nothing too crazy. I like how it looks. One thing I also forgot to mention that I didn't mention in my last video, I can turn this into a rear facing, uh, cam not a rear facing camera. It has a camera on the back that I can see, you know, the trailer and stuff. 
check out that last video that i did man on that first um you know hot shot trucking setup when i had the other trailer on this side we have a 1000 watt i just upgraded it 1000 watt power inverter this is where i keep my fire extinguisher mounted i got this mount off of amazon got this fire extinguisher from walmart like i said guys this you won't find in my store the fire extinguisher but you will find the bracket if you're looking for a place to mount that bracket as well so i keep my water i got my cooler this cooler been doing man this thing been thugging it out y'all it is a a glue iceless cooler just plugs into the cigarette lighter so yeah man that's that side now on this side same thing we keep uh our window shades under here but i also as you guys can see lately i just installed a ac unit this is the zero breeze portable ac unit that i run on the truck as y'all can see we made some holes i do have a install video coming y'all this video i'm doing right now is before i put out the install video so just to let y'all know there is a video coming on how i did this with my boy as y'all can see we got the vents right there i do also have a ipad slash phone mount so i can mount my ipad or phone if i want to watch some movies that's the truck man i got a beacon light for our oversized loads so that's there let's move to the back all right so starting on the bed of the truck this is the antenna for the cb radio on this side we do have a toolbox i was man it was this this was definitely needed for space is to have the toolboxes mounted on the truck because the amount of things that i do have on the setup the, tr the toolbox on the trailer was not going to do it on this side y'all can see we keep some bungees i have about 50 to 100 bungee cords for our tarps we got some edge protectors i have four binders in here as well if y'all can see them in the back one or two extra four inch straps let's get to this other side on the other side here i have my bucket straps for my vehicles that's all kept in this toolbox it's definitely a mess right now we just dropped off some vehicles but yeah that's what all that's where all my two inch straps are and where i have my straps for the vehicle so there's another side where we have another toolbox here we also have a 100 gallon fuel tank combo with the toolbox just for more space so in the toolbox up top here this is where i usually keep my def i keep blankets for my tarps i keep some tools drills in there we got a uh dewalt pump where i can you know if i need air in my tires i can inflate them bottle jack back here another bag for toolbox a wheel chock of course we're gonna have our height stick because you know we do oversized loads we do higher freight we do have our height stick for mighty i've got my three triangles safety dot triangles back here we've got some oil for the hubs just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff man grease we keep everything back here we got some fuel additives, WD-40, just little things, man, that you may need on the road. That is all what I keep in this box. Right now, I just don't have no def in there. In addition to the 100 gallon fuel tank, we do have a 55 gallon tank that came with the truck. So we got a total of 155 gallons. That can take us, you know, some long ways before having to stop. We got a spare right here, which is, uh, I believe it's a spare for the drives. Yeah, this is the DH-35, so it's the drives, but hey, if it need be, we gotta put it on the front. We gotta put it on the front. I do run hand cooks on the truck. This is my second set of hand cooks. These are the hand cooks DH35s, which are drive tires. And then we have the stairs in the front, which are AH35s hand cooks. They ran me about, I think 2000, a little bit over 2000 for the set. And I, I mess with y'all, bro, cause it's like a hundred degrees out here and we recording this video. Let's get on with the video, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Chime in in the comments, man. Let me know some tricks and tips that you guys do in order to organize your equipment, your supplies, so that you're more efficient out there on the road. That's kind of what I strive for. I try to have everything organized as much as possible so that when I get to a shipper or a receiver, I know where things are, I know where to put things. But anyhow, let's get back to the video. We're about to start on the trailer itself. Appreciate y'all for being here. All right, y'all, so before we get started on the details of this trailer, let's talk about what kind of trailer is this? Obviously, this is a PJ trailer. I chose this color because I wanted it to match we were able to get it custom done through pj this is a 44 footer 44 feet on the deck and then we've got eight feet on the neck and we'll talk about a few of the features that i added to the trailer shout out to happy trailers for just making this whole trailer happen from you know being in partnership with them you know we've had a great relationship nothing but great things to say about happy trailers shout out to them for show before we get more into the details y'all noticed where i did have to replace the trailer because we had some issues with the structure of the first one we got it replaced just never did a video never updated you guys about it 
right? So we've got that taken care of. They took care of it. This is how we're looking. Only thing that we did different on this setup versus the last one is we did add the slide track to this side of the trailer. We did put a positive pitch on the dovetail itself. Love how it came out, man. I've been so happy with this trailer. I've been able to scale and do so much more with it. Just been more versatile with having this setup. We do have the Blackwood Pro on um, the outer side of the I-beams, as you can see, going down the full trailer. Same thing on the top. I'll probably have you guys take a look at it as well. We do have the shocker hitch. I haven't stopped using the shocker hitch. This is gonna be a plus. This definitely helps with a lot of the jerking, a lot of the tugging that you may get when you are operating, when you're, when you're loaded or even when you're empty. We do have a 14 ply spare. Uh, we've got 14 plies all around and I can't remember what brand they are, but they've been solid, man. Besides that, man, let's go inside of the toolbox and let's see what we got in the toolbox. This is what I keep in my front toolbox. Uh, we got the battery here. For the winch, we do have a winch. I'll talk about that in a second. But in the toolbox, uh, as you can see, man, we just got tools. We got securement items. I got about 10 or 11 chains. We got six binders here and four in that other toolbox like I was talking about earlier. And then our uh, winch, our winch bar, and then some uh, edge protectors. So that's what we keep in the front toolbox. For the winch, we do have the Badlin 12,000 pound winch that we do have mounted right there. We have used that many times. I did go ahead and go with the hydraulic monster jacks just because I was tired of cranking and cranking and cranking. And since I had the option to do that, it was a win-win. We got the pump, we got the battery and everything down here in this front toolbox. As y'all can see here, man, You got to pay attention, especially when you got a deck like this and you got unexperienced forklift drivers. This is the shit that happens, man. So I was not happy about this right here. Can it be fixed? Yes. Is it a big deal to me right now? No. You know, I'm using this for work. You know, a lot of people see this trailer and be like, bro, do you even use this thing for work? Yeah, bro. I just try to take care of it. After that, we have a bucket dunnage rack, as y'all can see here. Able to keep a lot of dunnage in there. I went with that versus the angle board that I was using with my non-CDL setup and the setup before this one. Just because it holds more, man, we're doing, we have a longer deck, so we need more dunnage. We need more, you know, equipment, man. So right here, this is the box that controls the hydraulic dovetail. And I think when I mentioned this first setup before, you know, people were saying, why didn't they just put the equipment in one box for the hydraulics? This is the way they've done it. Um, it's not a big deal. Yes, it does add more weight. It would be more ideal to have both you know in one toolbox but it is what it is man so like i said this is the box for the hydraulics for the dovetail you've got the 14 plies all around one thing i do need to get on this trailer and i should be getting it this weekend are my valcrum caps for the oil hubs we've definitely got to replace those plastic things that we got there man so we do have a winch roller on here which was added when we're operating the winch We've got something for that cable to roll on. All right, so as y'all can see, man, we do have a 10 foot dovetail. We spoke about this before. This dovetail has been everything and you know, I'm, I'm just super grateful for it. All right, so we're on this side of the trailer now. So we do have, I'll just count them for you. I believe there are 11, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We've got 10, 11 winches for this side of the trailer for our straps, four inch straps. On this side, we do have the air ride system. Thought I opened up this box. It is the Pro Max air ride suspension. Ah. So this is the box for it. We got the battery and everything else, man. Ride well, air ride suspension. Probably gonna dump these bags tonight. Now this is the other toolbox that came standard with the trailer. As you can see here, this is where I keep some of my oversized banners and flags. We've got more backup two inch straps with ratchets. I have my lasso straps for vehicles. If I ever need to use them, I have four of them in here. And like I said, just a bunch of miscellaneous uh, straps. We do have the strap that we use for the winch when we're pulling up a vehicle. The steps do come out that we are able to use to hop on top of the trailer. All right, here's what the top deck looks like. 
like I said, we've got the same Blackwood Pro on here. And really what that's for, man, it's just to give some added grip to whatever it is that we're putting up there. Or, you know, if we're hauling vehicles, we have more traction. I do have two tarps. These two tarps are 16 by 27 feet. They're lumber tarps, so they both have flaps. That's what we have up here, man. And this is how we keep things. One thing I did forgot to mention, the type of brakes that came on this trailer, there are disc brakes. It's electric over hydraulic, way better than just the electric brakes. Up here is where they have the actuator for the hydraulics. Woo! Well, I'm sweating my ass off, y'all. I gotta wrap it up, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Just a quick video to show you guys, like I said, my ultimate hot shot trucking setup with my Ram 5500 and my 44 foot PJ trailer with eight on the neck, hydraulic, everything, pretty much all the bells and whistles you can possibly think of on a setup, man. Probably may think, man, what can you gross with a setup like this? This is a CDL setup. You can gross literally anywhere between $3,000 and $10,000 a week based on how you're operating. I start that low because not everyone operates the same. I go that high because not everyone operates the same. You may be able to see less, you may be able to see more than that, but what's possible is the numbers I just stated. That's gonna be a wrap, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you guys think about my setup and I will catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace, we up out of here.